Hey Star Wars fans, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. New to the Gaming Greats lineup, this is a GameStop exclusive in the US, uh, EB Games in Canada, and Zing Pop Culture slash EB Games here in Australia. It is Darth Nihilus. New on the shelf today. Uh, this is a really quick turnaround from pre order to release. Um, I feel like we've known about this one for a little while. Um, I can't actually remember when we first heard about it. Um, it was only recently we were first shown pictures, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to cracking this guy open. It's the, uh, another new figure from, well, this is from Knights of the Old Republic 2. You got the logo down there. Cool picture of Darth Nihilus. Uh, I'll be honest, KOTOR 2 is not a game I've played. Um, did play KOTOR 1 a long time ago. Um, it's something I'd really like to revisit. So I'm not totally knowledgeable about Darth Nihilus aside from what I've sort of read just online here and there. Um, but let's get this figure open and have a look at him anyway. All right, and here is Darth Nihilus himself. What a badass looking character. Um, he definitely embodies that feeling of a Sith. Um, if you imagine the word Sith, you kind of imagine the horror that this guy looks like. He's got this sweet looking white mask, which really pops. Um, and I decided to film against a white background, so he definitely pops. Um, now I can confirm uh, at this point that the upper torso only and legs are reused from Darth Maul. The rest of it is new. A uh, new lightsaber hilt. We'll pop that out and have a look closely. So that's... I dig that. That's a really cool looking design. That looks fantastic. Is nicely, nice and easily removable actually. So that's cool. Holds it well. Um, both hands seem to have a really good grip. It's quite a, th quite a thick hilt too, so... Um, yeah, you should be able to hold this well. So we'll get a close-up look at him there. Really nice, really nicely done. I dig this a lot. Um, yeah, like I said at the start, you know, if it takes some reused parts to get a new character out there, I'm all for it. Um, this is this is sweet. This guy's gonna look great with Revan um, and some of the other. Well, hopefully we get some more Knights of the Old Republic figures. Like a, um, Darth Malak would be a sweet one. But this guy does look cool. I'll compare him quickly to his three and three quarter inch counterpart. This came in Sith Legacy Battle Pack back in 07 or 08. Uh, my memory is potentially failing me. It was around that time anyway. Um, and yeah, really cool figure. I'd say the main, real main difference is, um, is the aesthetic of, you know, this guy's cape is sort of ripped and torn and shredded. Whereas this one is still quite nice and clean. But I think Hasbro is very aware that the uh, customizing community is quite large. Uh, we do like to make tweaks to our figures. They're very aware of that. And, uh, you know, they gave us that option a couple of years ago, whether they release a clean Stormtrooper or a dirty Stormtrooper. And uh, they opted to release the dirty one first, because uh, the clean one first, because they know we can dirty them ourselves <laughs> if we really want to. Um, so same thing applies to this guy. You know, if you want to rip up that, rip up that cape, um, make it look a little bit damaged and worn, just to sort of match this stuff here, um, that would work. I've also seen a few people that were saying they'd wish to um, change his legs and switch them out with Kylo Ren. Uh, Kylo Ren's legs are quite a little bit longer, so uh, if you want Nihilus to sort of stand a little bit taller, I believe he is quite a tall character. Um, so if you want to do that, that's an absolute possibility. Um, I may give it give it a shot myself. I haven't decided yet. We'll have to get an extra an extra um, Kylo Ren and able to do that to sacrifice a pair of legs. But otherwise, I'm digging this figure the way he is. I think he looks really cool. A 
love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do if you like the video and you like what you see I've got plenty more coming soon so uh, yeah hit up give us a thumbs up and I'll be back with some more reviews very very soon and hopefully with the new um, Jedi Fallen Order Scout Trooper over the weekend all being well I've seen a few people being able to grab that one um, my store couldn't release it unfortunately but hopefully tomorrow or over the weekend I'll be able to snatch that one up and uh, give it a review so big props to Hasbro for this one nice addition to the Gaming Greats line uh, one more figure for the year for the Gaming Greats excited to see what next year will bring hopefully some of these slightly reused and retooled parts will help fund some brand new characters in 2021 because there are a lot that come to mind that would be fantastic. All right, thanks again, guys. May the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.